So I just got this selfie home bag for spring. Love the structure of it. And it's a little bit bigger than my usual bags, but I'm getting used to it and I love it so much because I can carry so much stuff in it. What is in my bag? I have my wallet. This wallet is from Superdry. I never have really shopped there, but my friend Debbie gave me this. And sometimes I carry it by itself and I throw my keys and my chapstick or whatever in here and it carries everything. Unfortunately, I don't think they're on the website right now, but if you keep checking their site, sometimes they pop up every now and then and they sell out really fast. Next up, I always have sunglasses on me and I've been doing so much better about keeping them in its case. These are my new favorite sunglasses. They're by Elizabeth and James. They feel really, really well made. One of my other favorite sunglasses are these row sunglasses and I love the shape of them, but they're like three times the price of the Elizabeth and James one. I of course can't go anywhere without my phone. I always get a lot of questions about my phone case. This is just from Apple. I'll link it down below so you can see the original color of it. It used to be brown and it has turned into a very, very dark, dark, dark brown. Next up we have keys and cash. Way too many keys on my keychain. I need to figure out what I actually use because I have a feeling there's a lot of things that are redundant on this. I always have some sort of hair accessory, be it a scrunchie or a barrette or a hair ribbon. I always have something with me. I almost always carry a camera with me as well. I have my film camera, which many of you ask me what it is. I shoot with the Olympus MJU2. You can find some on eBay and Etsy. I also always have my G. 7X Mark II. This is my vlogging camera and I carry it with me quite often. Lastly, sometimes I always have with me a disposable camera. They're kind of fun to have. Usually my film camera suffices. And my favorite part, the balms. I carry around a lot of different balms. In fact, there's so many more that I wasn't able to share, but these are some of my favorites right now. This Christian Dior Abricot Nail Cream. I put on my cuticles. It is a little sticky, but I love the luxurious experience of it, and they're so handy on an airplane. Of course, we got the Glossier Balm.com. I love it in cherry because it has a little bit of a tint. I used to not love the smell, but I kind of got over that. I don't mind it anymore. Next up, I have the Make Marine Salve. Kind of like a really great all-in-one. It's not quite as heavy and thick as the Glossier Balm. So it's really nice to put on the webbing of your fingers. The next one I really love is the Rodent Oleo. I just love it because the packaging is so beautiful. Is it really hydrating? Mm. I kind of do this thing where I rub it directly from the pot onto my lips because I think this is more of a beautiful gift to give someone than buying it for yourself. But I do love having hand cream around. This one is from And Other Stories. Kind of smells like Diptyque Bay. I also have this organic lip and cheek balm from Herba Viva. It's like rubbing a glue stick on your face. It's wonderful. I always, always, always carry some sort of perfume with me. You never know when you need it. One of my absolute favorites is this Riddle Scented Oil in Sphinx. It's an Egyptian musk, and every time I wear a roll-on, people always compliment how I smell versus the perfume I'm wearing. What I actually love to do is layer it with my Glossier Solid Perfume. And I must admit, I did not like the Glossier you sent in the perfume bottle when I first got it, but the solid perfume. It smells so good, especially layered with something else. It just really melts into your skin and it smells different on everybody. Another very similar scent to the Riddle is the Kumba Made Persian Garden, which is another Egyptian musk. I've been wearing this one for quite some time now. I get it from Whole Foods or you can just buy it off of Amazon. These two are pretty new. I just got the Fredrick Mal Lipstick Rose. It's a great scent. I have the bottle, but I also have it in these to-go sizes. I like using spray on perfumes when I'm spraying it over my clothes. Last is not really a perfume, it's more of aromatherapy. It's from Tata Harper and it's a stress treatment. Wes's sister really, really loves aromatherapy and uses a lot of oils, so I've kind of dabbled into it. Ooh, I love this part. I love lip colors. I always have some sort of pigmented option inside of my bag because as I've gotten older, my natural flushed color is fading. <laughs> 
so I now have to wear lip colors, whereas before I never really needed to. And I have a plethora of them, but these are some of my favorites. Also, another Glossier hack that I figured out for myself are the cloud paints on your lips. Well, it only works in this shade Haze, but this color is so beautiful on your lips. It truly goes on like a natural tint and it looks super, super natural, super flushed. Use the leftover on my fingers, on my cheeks as well. So I have another Rodent Oleo pick. This one is definitely more of a spring color and it is a full blown lipstick. I like to wear this one a little bit more as a stain. So I'll put a balm on first and using my fingers, I'll tap the color into my lip. Glossier's Genji in Light. This one is the closest color to my lip and I love that it almost goes on like a watercolor crayon. I still use the lip oils from Milk. Just a nice little gloss and a nice little pop of color. Very, very subtle. Another favorite that I've recently gotten into is the Oleo A Also. It's kind of like a multitasking balm too. And this color is in persimmon, which is not a color I would normally go for, like a burnt orange, but it goes so beautifully on your lips and also on your cheeks when you're going for that like in-between bronzer blush color. My absolute favorite right now is the Dior Lip Glow. I have this one currently in my bag in berry, but I also like the pink option and raspberry, and I also use the matte raspberry, but I love it because it goes on really, really sheer and it's actually very hydrating. So I wore this a lot in my Vlogmas, and a lot of you guys asked me what I was wearing on my lips, and this was it. And while this might not always fit in my bag, I always carry around with me my bullet journal. I do always have a pen in my purse, though. I usually always have some supplements with me. These are from Care Of, and it's a subscription-based supplement. And I have them kind of spread out in my computer bag, my bag bag, my car. Uh, everywhere <laughs> and I also have any facial touch-ups I get kind of greasy pretty fast and that entails a lot of touching up so I have my very trusty Chanel compact which I've had for years I don't even think they make this color anymore and it's breaking apart and more recently I got the La Mer in a press package and I do love this a lot but I was pretty shocked to see the sticker price on it being almost a hundred dollars for compact and the Chanel one is cheaper like Chanel for sure and of course the trusty oil blotters I love these rice pieces from Palladio. They're awesome because sometimes you don't want to pack on more makeup and you just want to absorb excess oil and it does such an amazing job. Always have something to touch up my face in my bag. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it and let me know what you guys carry in your bag. Till then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!